little moments like these make up the day of us parents where we either stick to us thinking that we know better or really care about the needs of our children even though we don't understand them. Today we drove to the south again, it's mommy week and of course I'm coming with Leo this afternoon to the beach. It was interesting, like the whole day I didn't feel the impulse to record a video today, there was nothing I wanted to say, nothing I wanted to Papa. share and now on the scooter there was one incident that motivated to, to do this video Papa. today. Yeah. 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 Go there. Was hast du gefunden? Oh, die sieht aber schön aus. What inspired me to record today's video was the fact that when we arrived, look, there's an airplane now. Huh. Is this the Was that when we arrived, Leo was still in the sling, and and then uh, I wanted to put him down, and he was like, no, 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 um, and he wanted Papa, to stay Papa, in the sling. Papa. Yeah. Was Yeah, we müssen erst mal so Sachen noch hier einpacken. He wanted to stay in the sling, although we went to the beach, with it, which is something that we never do. And I was like, no, 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 I want to put you down because we go to the beach, and he was like, no, 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 I want to stay in the sling. And like, although I would consider myself as a dad who really puts a lot of emphasis on the needs of his child, somehow there is this part inside myself that still sometimes thinks that I know better what is the right thing for him. And there's this image inside my head. No, we, we like when we arrive, we leave the sling and then we go to the beach. Oh, that's a coconut, huh? That's a coconut skin. And then I was almost like putting Leo down and he was almost like crying and then I realized why he asks me to still to continue to be in the sling. Why do I need to put him down? Just let this little boy be in the sling and walk down to the beach. And when we walk down here and arrive here, then he wanted to be like, he wanted to be put out of the, out of the sling. And this was not, like, not a big deal. And still there was this part inside myself that knew better. And then there was the second moment a couple of minutes ago, what inspired me to record Hola. today's video Hola. was. Yeah, we are just here. We are 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 here. We just arrived and played here for like maybe 15 minutes and discovered the algae and so on and then you said rolla 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 and I was like but we just arrived here we don't go back Papa, hey, Papa. yeah yeah you want to go back huh and then again there was this moment where I was like hey, Papa. he's asking me to go back why why not follow that even though my adult self tells me like we just arrived nothing wrong happened which is beautiful why should we already go back but Leo's asking me to go back so why not follow that? And little moments like these make up the day of us parents where we either stick to us thinking that we know better or really care about the needs of our children even though we don't understand them. Like, this is where 
safe attachment parenting is coming from Bye. by just by just following the needs in the here and now of our little ones without thinking we know better because we cannot know better what is the current desire if we just arrived and played for 15 minutes and then we leave again then it's the right thing to exactly do that otherwise he wouldn't be a asking me for that you must have Apparently, that's not our roller. That's our roller here. Apparently, Leo just needed to poo. <laughs> and like, it is so interesting. I sense this huge similarity between what children teach us and what the like what the spiritual path in general is like. The path of surrender. The path of letting go and being guided by the greater forces oftentimes we feel resistance to something that happens in our lives because we think this means x but in reality it means something completely different like if our partner breaks up with us and we are super sad we are super sad because we think oh that's something bad well in reality maybe this opens the door for something else this story of john d rockefeller the richest man and the history of our planet really touched me when I when I watched the documentary about him and the story was told that in the moment when he missed a, an important train which he believed to be something really bad in reality was the incident that saved his life because this train um, crashed fatally and um, as a result his life was saved so in this moment he realized wow there's something special going on and moments like these when something happens and we interpret them as whatever and in reality they mean something completely different like I love these moments like now to really trust to really let go and to follow the guidance of our children and of the the greater forces. Good to meet you. I'll enjoy my salad bowl for dinner. Leo is with his mommy at the the kirtan singing circle somehow this like really a like insignificant incident okay. gifted me today with a profound sense of peace and of <laughs> yeah deepened my commitment to surrender <laughs> It's like little situations with my son where I realize like my interpretation of the things that are happening in my life they are <laughs> probably very inaccurate and even like it's interesting when I shared that Leo wanted to to go to the scooter and then I realized oh he just needed to poo that's why he wanted to go up my mind again fell into this trap of ah this is why what if there is no one single reason what if he just expressed his his desire to go to the scooter and there was no bigger plan of like it's only this thing it's, it was just like no oh, let's move into this direction a sense that we waste so much energy and time and like we create so much headache because we always try to interpret what does that mean is this good or is this bad instead of seeing the things as they simply are <laughs> beautiful reminder thank you leo <laughs> thank you life thank you universe <laughs> 